mystery of stuff. Underneath Germany, an intrepid adventurer is exploring an abandoned bunker. As he steps through the dust and shadows, his torch beam falls on forgotten objects, things that haven't seen the light of day for many years. When he finally returns to the surface, he brings with him the mementos of a dark and buried past. On November 20, 2015, a YouTube user known as WW2 History Hunter uploaded a video to their channel. According to their patron account, WW2 History Hunter is a creator of documentaries focusing on World War II era. The channel, which has more than 140,000 subscribers, aims to educate viewers about history and past events. Apparently, WW2 History Hunter's goal is to encourage viewers to engage with history, becoming a part of the recent past. To that end, he videos himself exploring various structures and relics, posting the results online for his subscribers to see. Back in 2015, before he launched his Patreon campaign, WW2 History Hunter added an incredible video to his popular channel. Apparently, while traveling through Germany, he had stumbled upon an astonishing secret, hidden away in an undisclosed location. In the video, WW2 History Hunter can be seen exploring a forest thick with autumnal trees. Totally camouflaged by its surroundings, the viewer can just make out the outline of a roof. On closer inspection, the camera reveals rugged walls, formed from a mixture of concrete and cement. Suddenly, a hole opens up in the undergrowth. The camera pans across it, revealing what the subtitles claim is a ventilation shaft. Sure enough, the cavity is seen to stretch far off into the darkness below. Next, the video reveals what looks like an entrance, bricked up and camouflaged with undergrowth. Taking a closer look, WW2 History Hunter determined that he had a World War II bunker on his hands. Not only that, but it appeared to have been sealed off from the outside world. But who might have done such a thing? And what secrets might be lying hidden inside? Scattered around the bunker, WW2 History Hunter claimed to have found several relics that further pointed to the area's military past. In the video, he showed off a live round from a K98 or MG machine gun, some wooden ammunition boxes, and a tube of vintage German toothpaste. Then, cryptically, he directed viewers to part two of his video series to find out more. In the second part, uploaded on the same day, WW2 History Hunter revealed more about the mysterious bunker. Apparently, he'd first discovered it three years previously, but had been unable to find any information about its past. In parts three and four, also uploaded on November 20th, WW2 History Hunter returned to the bunker two more times. At first, he lowered a camera down the ventilation shaft. However, this method revealed little about what secrets might be hidden beneath. Next, the explorer decided to tackle the brick wall that sealed off the entrance to the mysterious bunker. Initially, he planned to drill a small 16 millimeter hole through a crevice in the brick wall, inserting a tiny camera through the gap. Amazingly, he was successful, but the plan soon hit another snag. Although the camera managed to reach the other side of the brick wall, whatever was on the other side was too dark to show up on the video. Then, WW2 History Hunter was struck with his ingenious idea. He lowered two flashlights into the ventilation shaft, using their illumination to light up the sealed off interior. This time, the endeavor was a success. After drilling a second hole in the brick wall for additional light, the camera was able to make out the outlines of a structure and some possible equipment on the other side. But just as things were getting interesting, the batteries died putting an end to the day's exploring. Thankfully, two days later, WW2 History Hunter uploaded the final chapter in the saga of the hidden bunker. This time, he returned determined to break through the brick wall once and for all. Today is the last stand, he told the camera. I'm back at the stubborn bunker. I'm going to do a last attempt to get in, and let's find out what's in there. Armed with an electric drill and a bit for tackling concrete, the explorer braves spiders and rubble in his attempt to break through the wall. However, after exhausting two batteries, he still hadn't succeeded. 
Finally, he returned with his daughter in tow and an impressive lance handmade for tackling the wall. This time, WW2 History Hunter was in luck. As his daughter swung the homemade tool back and forth against the brick wall, it finally gave way. Then, with none of her father's patience, she proceeded to smash down the entire thing. My daughter, he explained, just knocked down the whole wall. Finally, they were inside. As they stepped through the newly cleared entrance into the space beyond, they captured every step of their adventure on film. Interestingly, their first observation was that the walls were painted white, presumably to create a lighter atmosphere for anyone that needed to be locked inside. As the pair explored, they found many relics that pointed to the bunker's initial purpose as a hideaway during World War II. Tellingly, the space was fitted with ventilation shafts, apparently so that the rooms could be made airtight in the event of an attack. Additionally, one of the corners was damaged as if it had been blasted apart by a violent force. Then came the relics. Over the course of the video, WW2 History Hunter showed off a variety of finds to the camera. Among them were buttons and hooks that he identified as part of a German soldier's uniform, a 9mm live cartridge, and the cap from a grenade. Other more commonplace discoveries were a piece of a bakelite comb and an aluminum spoon. Perhaps the most spectacular artifacts were a porcelain cup marked Made in Poland and a shard of china emblazed with a swastika. For those who had been following WW2 History Hunter's progress, the video was a resounding success. In fact, over the next 18 months, it garnered over 3 million views. Although most people seemed impressed with the results, some commenters joked that his investigations might have woken Nazi zombies from the dead. And with the channel still active and regular videos being added to this day, perhaps there are more exciting discoveries yet to be